Hello, welcome to the Yellow Submarine, your dedicated Beetle channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the net worth of the Beatles. The Beatles last performed together in the 90s, which means their net worth would have decreased drastically over the years. But is that the case? Stay tuned till the end of the video, as you will find out what the Beatles are worth and if it has decreased or appreciated over the years. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever we release a new video. The Beatles is one of the most iconic bands in history, founded in 1960 in Liverpool. The Beatles have changed the history of rock and roll, and they are the role model for countless amazing artists who came after them. Although they released their last album in 1970, the Beatles still make a massive sum of money every year. Like I mean real money. What then can be the Beatles' net worth? Well, before telling you their net worth, let me remind you of their discography first. The Beatles have 13 studio albums in core and 21 studio albums worldwide, 5 live albums, 36 EPs, 54 compilation albums, 63 singles, 17 box sets, 22 live albums, and 68 music videos. Debuted in 1963 with Please Please Me, the Beatles released its 12th and final studio album in 1970 titled Let It Be. The net worth of the Beatles over the years has always been on the rise since they started in 1960. But if we have to place a numeric value on rock and roll's most invaluable bands, the number would be $2.15 billion. So how can the Beatles be worth so much? This is a result of diverse angles, which the band earns from. Let's take a flashback on how it all started and how they could have ended up with this net worth. In 1964, the Beatles earned about $10,000 from three performances on The Ed Sullivan Show. Although they could have gotten more for even a single performance on that popular television show, their manager, Brian Epstein, bargained a lower sum for top billing and increased exposure. John Kovach, a rock historian who teaches a Beatles course at the University of Rochester, said the Ed Sullivan Show was the beginning of the business legacy for the Beatles. He noted that the Grooch and Rickenbacker guitars they used on Sullivan's show just flew off the shelves the next day. Also, kids wanted to be like them from the instruments to the haircuts. The Beatles were the headliners for each program and got a huge TV audience, including a then record 73 million viewers for their historic US TV debut on February 9, 1964. The relentless drive and vast musical history have kept the Beatles band making money half a century after John, Paul, George, and Ringo took America by storm. Villanova University economics professor David Fiorenza who specializes in art and entertainment, attested that the surviving members and the group's holding company continued to search for avenues unavailable to the Beatles in the mid-1960s. This shows that the Beatles were always on the cutting edge, and this is reflected in their financial impact today, which is more significant than any other artist, living or deceased. The Beatles are the best-selling recording artists of all time, selling an incredible 1.6 billion singles in the United States alone. Their lead songwriters, Paul McCartney and John Lennon, have each written a total of 32 and 26 number one hits, respectively. The band released numerous hits such as Hey Jude, Come Together, She Loves You, Let It Be, A Hard Day's Night, Blackbird, A Day in the Life, Here Comes the Sun, In My Life, and many more. The Beatles were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988. Also, the band was honored by seven Grammy Awards, one Academy Award, 15 Ivor Novello Awards, and four Brit Awards. All this has brought about a drastic impact on their net worth. The Beatles once held the top five spots on Billboard 100 in April 1964, which is an achievement that is likely to remain unmatched. They made $25 million in earnings that year, which translates to almost $188 million today. In 1995, there was the release of the Beatles Anthology documentary, along with the book and CD. A collation of number one hit singles from the United States and the United Kingdom was released as an album in 2000, which went to the top of the charts. It became the best-selling album from 2000 to 2010. The first album alone went eight times platinum in the US, with sales over $3.6 million. The Beatles still made other deals, which include the Beatles rock band music video game, which was released in 2009 with multi-million sales, as well as the show Love, which features Beatles music and performances by Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. Although the Beatles disbanded more than four decades ago, their music still inspires the rock and roll community from old to new. The band's immense catalog and the remaining members keep the band alive. 
One thing I find exciting is that for a Beatles song to be used by a TV show or movie, they have to pay the Beatles. This happened in 2012, where a TV show, Mad Men, spent about $250,000 for the rights to use the Lennon-McCartney song, Tomorrow Never Knows. Do you know that the Beatles have a holding company called Apple Corps? Yes, Apple Corps is the Beatles holding company controlled by Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and the estates of John Lennon and George Harrison, which continues to push out products. In 2012, after years of disputes with Apple Inc. over naming and music rights, the Beatles formed their company in 1968 for tax advantages. The computer company was founded in 1976. The group finally allowed their music to be sold on iTunes. Year after year, the Beatles keep rising in their net worth. In 2019, the band brought in an eye-watering 50 million pounds, equivalent to a million pounds for each year that the band had not released music. According to The Mirror, company accounts filed to Apple Records Limited for the year until January 2019 showed that the band made £50,244,899 over a year. Wow, that's massive, right? Who could have thought the band could be making so much money after they disbanded? That figure amounts to the equivalent of £137,657 made by the company per day which was set up in 1968 by the band to run its business interests. The company, which doesn't even own the Beatles' backlog of songs, then reportedly paid £6.1 million each to Sir Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, John Lennon's widow Yoko Ono, and George Harrison's widow Olivia. Are you surprised? Well, it is a fact, and you know that the Beatles were the most significant, most influential, and most successful band in rock music history. They were indeed the sum of their supremely talented parts. Just recall Lennon and McCartney's lyrics and vocals, Ringo's drumming, and Harrison and Lennon's guitar work. You would see that they created a catalog of timeless hits. There is no doubt that the Beatles is the best-selling band in musical history, selling more than 600 million units worldwide. When the band's highest-selling album was its eighth studio album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, with 32 million copies, the band sold 27 million copies with the second, Revolver. I concur with what Darren Duber Smith, a marketing professor at Metropolitan State University of Denver, said when he said that, It's remarkable for a band that stopped recording in 1970. They still have such interest. He also said that what has helped the Fab Four staying power is being a first mover. In marketing terms, that means they were the first in their category and came to symbolize a significant moment in time. They represent the British musical invasion and the change in music that came with it, he said. We've had other moments, like with Pearl Jam and Kurt Cobain, but nothing like the Beatles did for their time. They were a transformative band, and that has longevity. The Beatles, which has a great respect and fan base worldwide, has been a strong trademark with a monthly audience of millions, although only 10 years of an active music career. They have produced songs from many musical genres, such as rock and roll, classical music, Indian music, and psychedelia, and released 13 studio albums. These guys are damn vast in different kinds of music. Do you know that the Beatles were cautious about their longevity? Just as Larry Kane, a former news anchor in Philadelphia and reporter who covered the Beatles on their United States tours in 1964 and 65, said, I don't think they had any idea it would go on like this. But he said there was one of them who did. According to Larry Kane, I asked Brian Epstein in 1964 how long it would last, Kane added. He said, Larry, the children of the 21st century will be listening to the Beatles. He was right. Yeah, this is the truth as we can see. We are in the 21st century and still listening to the Beatles. However, this did not mean the Beatles never had any challenges or losses. You would agree with me that sometimes, popularity has its disadvantages. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr are perhaps the most iconic and beloved quartet. However, not everything went well for these four. They faced pretty significant national or global problems. Sometime in 1960, the Beatles lost about a million in underhanded merchandising deals. Yet, they still made a lot of money afterward, unlike other bands which would have gone bankrupt. So, for those that love numbers, the net worth of the Beatles is estimated to be around $2.15 billion, and this will surely increase in the coming years. That will be all for today's video. Thank you for staying tuned.